What's going on everybody? My name is Anthony Grullo and you're watching D's Lutz. This is LUT of the Day and this is from the James Miller New York State LUT collection and today we are working on 3D LUT with the name of Cortland and what we have here I shot uh, in Hoboken, Hoboken, excuse me, looking up towards Washington Avenue and this is Anthony Davis restaurant. It's a little challenging of a shot because I think we're going to have a little bit of a struggle on the right side of the image exposing that, pulling out our 13 stops of dynamic range. So let's create our serial nodes. We're gonna create four. We're gonna put our LUT on number three. Uh, right click on 3D on the, on the serial node, 3D LUTs, locate our New York State cube. Also locate our Cortland. We'll go plus two, because I think if we could do anything even or plus one, I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, well, we will be able to, but it's just easier to start with the plus one. Okay, but so let's go over to serial node number one, and let's go into our normal BND film and custom for white balance, and let's adjust our exposure a little bit more. Let's see if our color temperature brings it down. No, too cold, too chilly. Bring it up to 50, 50, 56, 69. Looks good to me. A little sharpness perhaps here. Um, we will go over to serial node number two, and this is where we will play with our curves. Remember to make sure they are unganged. Large screen, reverse S-curve. So yeah, we see how that reverse S-curve brings back that right side of the image. You know, that is, that's, that's really nice, because if, if we do the other, other type, traditional S-curve, we're not pulling the right side of the image, we lose it. So with these LUTs, the reverse S-curve seems to do the trick. All right about there. All right about there, we'll pull, we'll pull that back. We'll pull down our blues. Ooh, that looks good, we like that. And let's see if our red channel mildly, mildly wants to be adjusted. Ooh, that looks real nice and filmic. So let's make this a little bit larger. So you guys can take a look at Cortland. That looks pretty good. Let's go to our serial node number th four. And this is where we're going to do the Lumiverse saturation here and here. Pull this down. Pull this down here. I get a grab of that and make our canvas a little bit larger. And let's start to play around. We want to make that, that umbrella too red. So we're trying to find a happy medium with our bricks, our street scene. And that gets a little too red, right? Right about, right about there. That looks pretty good. Let's sharpen it up and see what we have. And we'll also sharpen. Pull down to about 45-ish. Never want to really go more than 45 on the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera with that uh, Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8. Um, and we'll go to our output blanking, our 2.35 crop factor. We'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can take a look at what we have. Um, and that's the uh, New York State. Cortland, I like it. I mean, I generally like all these these LUTs, I think you do a really good job if you're really looking for a nice filmic slash digital look. Even my wife who doesn't know much, look at that moray over here, look at this. Whoo, black magic raw. Uh, not so much, you don't get so much on the ProRes, but let me go back to my original thought. Um, even my wife who saw me and saw these images were like, wow, what, when, did you when did you shoot that film shot? And I said, ah, I must be doing something right. It's uh, James Miller's LUT package because I'm not shooting film, this is the Black Magic Pocket um, with the Metabones Speed Booster. So that is the Cortland by James Miller, and that was our LUT of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll do a quick before and after so you guys can see. Uh, we put the serial node, uh, we put the LUT on three, so let's turn it off. Um, as, as always, this is our Command F for full. And this is where we wound up. And I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, enjoy all the feedback and helping you guys out. 
if these are image lots of packages you'd like to dive into. Like as always, no affiliate links from my site to back to James Miller's website. Just good LUTs at good prices. And uh, that is all for today, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys all very, very, very soon. See you next time on this channel, D's LUTs. Thank you.